Hello people that watch YouTube, DB Gary, welcome back to Hack Time, whoa! So okay guys, today I'm gonna be talking about SDR, and if you couldn't tell already by the name of today's video, SDR is also known as Software Defined Radio, and essentially what that is guys, it's really just a radio in which you plug into your computer to get a waterfall, so that you can see various signals that may be hidden there that you couldn't pick up normally with the radio. Now, these devices are really cheap, and for the most part, you can pick up just about anything. I was able to pick up my house phone on it in SDR Sharp a few times, even though the phone's supposed to be rated as a 2.5 gigahertz phone, which this thing shouldn't even pick up, so I don't know how I managed to pick it up. But the even cooler thing is that you can do with this thing, if that made sense, is, you, is you, that you can actually track airplanes with this device, pull images from satellites and things, and even like track boats with this thing, and somehow with the antenna that this little guy has, it's about that big, it can pick up freaking airplanes not even near me. And I gotta say, that's freaking sweet. And well, with that said, how about we just take a look at some programs on the computer to, well, demonstrate what this little thing can do, as well as maybe talk about what I plan on doing with this thing in future videos. Now, as you can see, I'm currently tracking, well, aircraft with this little device, and as you probably already know or don't know, aircraft always have transponders, and they always work within, I believe, the FM, um frequency so anything can pick them up besides radios because radios aren't well tuned into them but essentially what a transponder does is that it post data on wherever the plane's at as well as its name and various other little things like that such as its altitude. That way in the event that a plane crashes somebody can go and well track it down and I gotta say as you can see I am really surprised with how much of a range this thing got. I mean I'll probably flash some pictures of the antenna that this thing has. I mean, it's only about this freaking big, right? And it's somehow picking up all this stuff, and it's not even near my house. My house is somewhere way down here in this area, even though I have the receiver as set up higher here on the map. And to be honest, that ain't even the most of what this thing can do. This thing can even pick up satellite TV, I believe, if you get the right software. However, mine did not come with a disc, so I cannot use it for that functionality, but if you wish to watch, well, satellite TV on your computer, you could probably do it with one of these little things, but for the most part, guys, this little device is mainly used to, well, copy FM or frequencies of that kind of nature, that way you can replay them with something like an uh, yardstick one or something, you know, to spoof something. Like if you wanted to spoof your car keys and unlock your car with, well, your computer, all you'd have to do is scan the frequency, record the audio with this little device, and then buy something like a yardstick one, I believe that's what it's called, or a hack RF, and then replay that said frequency to get into your car. It's actually a really cool thing and a big vulnerability for people that use um, little clickers to get in their cars and stuff. But yeah, forgive me if I'm trying to talk a little bit fast here. It's because there's a satellite pass over about to happen and I kind of want to show what this kind of looks like. Although I can't really um, at the moment pick up images from a satellite above me because I need a way bigger antenna to do that and by bigger I mean just like slightly bigger and it has to be a uh, QHF antennas which means it has to be kind of like round and singular that way the signal can be grabbed in from all sides and that's the one sad thing about this antenna that this thing comes comes with it's not already um I don't know the words for this, polarized, it's not set up to well pick up frequencies from a NOAA weather satellite, that's something you gotta do with your own money and I plan on doing that in the future and making a video on it, but for now guys, like as this device is all by itself, I gotta say it's really good, I overall really like it, and I'm gonna leave a link for it down below if you wish to purchase one yourself, but as you can see the software, it's really simple once you get everything set up, and to actually tune into radio stations, all you do is you put the number of the radio station in that you wish, click on FM and not CW or AM or NFM, which is for near um, 
FM radio, which is essentially walkie-talkies. Now, if I were to click this and go all the way over to the 500 gigahertz or megahertz spectrum, I should be able to pick up um, police walkie-talkies and things here just by looking in the spectrum and waiting for a signal to pop up. But yeah, with that said, guys, today's video is, well, pretty much over. Forgive me if it's all over the place. I'm kind of on a time crunch here at the moment, but if you wish to see any more about this device, let me know and I'll gladly do it. But for the most part, it's pretty much plug and play, but to get your antenna working in this software, you do have to do a little bit of a workaround, which I'll make a video on that later. But yeah, like I said, I'll make more videos on this if you wish to see more. And well, I'm gonna leave today's video off here. Anyway, I really hope you all enjoyed today's video, guys, and well, yeah, I'm just gonna go. DTPK signing off. Peace. Plug your device into the computer, and if you have a good connection, it should light up orange, but just know. But for now, we're just gonna use this tool to, well, scan our network and, well, see what device...